Hello, I'm Louise Pike with Sotheby's International Realty, and welcome to this spectacular townhouse on the Upper East Side. Steps from Central Park, this Gilded Age townhouse was built in 1901 by John Duncan, one of the great architects at the turn of the century who also built Grant's tomb. But despite this home's New York pedigree, when you look up, you feel like you're in the streets of Paris. It has a fabulous limestone facade with beautiful garlands over the windows. But as spectacular as that all is, just wait until we go inside. You can talk about your modern conveniences, your mid-century efficiencies, but when it comes to opulence, there's nothing that surpasses the Gilded Age. And you feel that the minute you walk into this entrance gallery. It's 46 feet long, 25 feet wide, with 12 foot ceilings, giving you plenty of space to display your art collection and greet your guests. You've heard this line before, they don't make them like they used to. Just look at these architectural details. Marble floors, intricate moldings, and this exquisite staircase. And this truly unique oval vestibule with curved glass. But as the name implies, this is just the entry. And with 18,000 square feet, over six stories, there's a lot to see. Welcome to the parlor floor. Here you can really experience the grand dimensions of this home. 66 feet long from front to back, and the ceilings are 17 feet high. The parlor floor has a library, a gallery, and the drawing room. Standing here in the gallery, you can feel how they loved lavish entertaining in the Gilded Age. You can greet your guests at the top of the steps with the string quartet entertaining you from the balcony. And these walls of mirrors just add to the festivities. The parlor floor has easy flow from space to space, so let's flow into the library. This is one of the most exquisite rooms in New York. It has 17-foot ceilings adorned with exquisite cartouches and moldings, with sumptuous wood paneling, a marble fireplace, and a mirror almost to the height of the ceiling. Overlooking 63rd Street are these two magnificent arch windows. But if all of this is too understated for you, please follow me to the drawing room. Elegance upon elegance upon elegance. Stepping into the drawing room is like stepping into your own hall of mirrors, making it ideal for quiet reflection and genteel conversation. Here again, you will see extraordinary plaster work on the ceiling and on the walls, and yet another one-of-a-kind fireplace. Though the drawing room is one of my most favorite places in the home, I have one more place to show you. Welcome to the primary suite, or dare I say, to the primary duplex penthouse. With a soaring, double-height living room, a cozy bedroom, multiple outdoor spaces, and sitting six stories above the street, it is private and pin-drop quiet. This is a fitting end to a fabulous townhouse. Fifteen East Sixty Third Street is a one-of-a-kind property. It's like stepping back into the Gilded Age. I'm so happy to have shown it to you. Thank you for taking a look. Before you go, let us know if you enjoyed this video. Drop us a like and subscribe.